Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Last time we successfully uh, defeated Master Belch and made it here to the upper level of uh, the Saturn Valley. Uh, and, uh, we could go on into this next cave here, into the Milky Well, but I want to have some coffee to this guy real quick. Uh, sure. Bottoms up! Welcome to Coffee Talk with your host, Linda Richmond. Welcome to Coffee Talk. I'm your host, Linda Richmond. The hell's in this coffee? Is there some, like, uh, Bailey's Irish cream in there or something? Yeah. Huh? Oh, man. This is pretty trippy. Uh, I've traveled very far from home. Okay. Very good. Do you remember how the long, winding journey began with someone pounding at your door? <laughs> Pokey, the worst person in your neighborhood. Yeah, I do remember that. Yes, that was indeed a fateful night. Oh, I remember that night like it was yesterday. Yep. Nope, never lost the courage, but uh, did get homesick once. Had to call mom, which is kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, my guys even got knocked out, and I had to... Revive him with secret herbs and cups of life noodles and stuff like that. Which was kind of annoying. Oh, uh, yeah. So is this the Mr. Saturn that's telling this to us? Telling this to us? But he is... Because he's definitely... Um, you know, that's definitely not the language. Uh, definitely not the... Um, you know, the text that a Mr. Saturn usually uh, uses. It's more messed up and like they're all high or something. Yes, that's right. I am not a regular young man. Awesome destiny to fulfill. Yeah, it's kind of retrospective here. I like it. The journey will be long. I don't know. I've had to face some pretty tough enemies. Who's talking to us, anyways? Still want to know who that is. Well, if history is anything like any of the other role-playing games I've played then good will always prevail. Though there was one time where I wish the bad guy did prevail, and that was in Final Fantasy VII, because Sephiroth is a badass. Man, that guy is an awesome bad guy. Uh, or, you know, sometimes in professional wrestling, those of you that I have to have been, I'm a WWE fan, and I like the bad guys, you know, the heels, if you will. They, uh, you know, they always have the best lines, and they get to do all the cool stuff, so... I don't know. Keep your sense of humor. Well, I can definitely do that. Ah, what are we going to do here? Oh, we're going to pass through a desert. We saw that. Ah, now we see what we need to do next. We need to go to Foreside. No problem. I wonder what the town with a five in it is going to be. Ness. Paula. Jeff. Yes. Thank you. Still want to know who this is, though. Is that it? I think that's it. Yes, I'll turn on past the rest of this. Okay. So yeah, kind of interesting re retrospective there, so you can uh, check things out if you want. Yeah, no problem. Glad to help. Uh, but yeah, so now um, you can go through and... Um, you know, we've now got... Oh, I need to heal up. So now, uh, you know, you can go and uh, be connected to that upper world there. So that's kind of cool. All right. Now, if you go down here... Oh, yeah, I do need to go uh, and buy... Yep, sure did. <laughs> you come here with three minutes. And if you talk to this guy, you get... Ooh, a cup of life noodles. Great. Ooh, a Mr. Saturn coin. That's even better. Oh, but we don't get a stag beetle. Oh, he's just kidding. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is... Uh, oops. Now what we want to do is... Good, she already has the Mr. Saturn coin. Now we're going to want to equip that. Look at that increase in defense. That's awesome. Love it. So yeah, Paul is doing really well now. Unfortunately, you can't change the order of your party. Um, otherwise, I'd put her in the lead for sure because of her defense. But Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rest up here. Uh, just go and heal up. 
And then I'm gonna sell some excess equipment, like, um, see, like, I don't need the Mr., you know, the, uh, well, the Stag Beetle, you can sell that. You don't need that. That just causes an enemy to be solidified, so I might as well get some money for that. And, uh, oh, I'm gonna make sure she's equipping the Mr. Saturn coin. Yeah, that's what she wants. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, and then I'll sell my red ribbon, and then I'll meet you outside here, and then we will go on to the next area. Okay, I'm outside of the shop here, and um, I bought Great Charms, and I should have done this earlier, but that's cool. Um, I bought Great Charms for Ness and for Jeff there. Uh, Paul already had one, uh, so I went, and that's actually very good because that actually increases their speed. And I didn't know this increases their speed by five, so that's going to be helpful. Huh? Oh yeah, it's the dead. Uh, no. yeah, I'll be all right. Okay, so yeah, go through that real quick. And then, now we need to go over here, yep, and check out that new area. Now let's see what we got in here. And yeah, everything looks pretty straightforward thus far. So that's good, whoa! Oh, look at all these guys attacking us. Wow, we've got lots of new enemies here. The strutting evil mushroom and the ran boob. <laughs> ran boob. Okay, so what we want to do for these guys is, fortunately, they're all in a row, so let's take them all out. A tough mobile sprout. Now, you want to take out the evil mushrooms first, and that's the reason why. Because of that feeling strange and being mushroomized. That can be really annoying. Sweet, got him. Shield of Light. Uh-oh. I hope that isn't a, uh... I hope that's not a, um... Um... A shield that protects against... Ugh, crap. Against the uh, magic. Man, I can't really talk to it. I'm sorry. Oh, man, she got her ass kicked. Yeah, the enemies in this cave can get pretty tricky, so you gotta be careful there. Okay, uh, so let's take out the Ramboob next. And there you go. Uh, takes us from Jeff. Bounce. Man, yeah, so watch out for these enemies. Woo! Good, got him. All right, nice job, team. Wow, 3,000 experience. Nice. Definitely can use that. And IQ went up by four. Man, a great level for Paula. Ah, and she learns one of the best spells in the game. PSI, uh, look at these great levels. Uh, Magnet, so now she can steal HP from all of her opponents, so that's awesome. Okay, now, does this work on mushrooms? Nuts, doesn't. Okay, I know uh, we can heal up Paula there. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, I got mushroom eyes, so. Oh, jeez. Uh, see here. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to. Do I have a secret herb? No, it doesn't really look like it. So I'm gonna have to. This is gonna be tricky when they're BCS universe. Okay, here I am now, out on the uh, the ledge there. Now, there is a good chance that uh, people in your party will be mushroomized by the time uh, you get to the boss anyway. So, might as well go through it and kind of see what happens. Dang it! Okay. So, let's see. Oops. Uh, you got healed there. So, I got a healing there. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're doing good. Uh, all right. All right, doing good. So let's see what we go from here. Oops, dang it. Okay, I gotta get my controls straight here. Uh, there we go. Ooh, a coin of slumber. Now we're gonna wanna give that to Jeff there. Uh, let's see, you know what? I could get rid of the protractor. It sells for like one HP anyway, so I don't really care about that. We'll give this to Jeff. Now that should increase his, let's see, I think this is other. Yeah, good increase in his defense, so that'll be good. And uh, let's see, I think it protects against something. Let's take a look. Ah, and defense and luck. Cool. Awesome. And now I'll go, oh, I thought that was, this cave was free of enemies. But I should have known better. Yeah, and we're doing good. Ah, there's what I'm looking for. Okay. So now, let me uh, take this opportunity to, okay, heal up real quick, and then I'll be right back. 
All right, we're all healed up and ready to go, so let's uh, take this guy on. Ah, the third year sanctuary location, okay. Uh-oh. And now it's time for a sanctuary battle against the Trillion Inch Sprout. Now, if people are mushroomed, this battle can be quite tricky because they will rant the... Uh, if your guys ever feel strange, their attacks can all of a sudden get turned on. Boom! Can get turned on to the old party, which really is a pain in the ass. All right, good. Whoa! Dang. That's got his butt kicked. No problem, we'll heal up there. And now let's go ahead and attack. And Jeff can use... You have a bottle rocket? Yeah. Nuts. Okay, good. Uh-oh. Okay, well, at least I was on uh, Jeff there, so that's good. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and heal up there. And use the calorie stick on this. And then chuck a bomb. Good. Ugh. Yeah, this is, again, this is the only part of the battle that's tricky is if they're feeling funky. So, uh, okay, I'm going to wait for him to get over that. And then, let's see. And go ahead and use, let's see, PSI freeze. And then Jeff, you just attack there. Okay, good. Boom. Nice job. Ooh, and his body solidified. Good. That's all right. Sometimes you'll be able to freeze him for a round there, so... This is obviously a lot easier if um, ugh, if your guys aren't, you know, uh, if everyone's feeling okay. You know, this becomes a lot easier. But, you know, this makes this more interesting, so. Why, why am I sudden not? Uh-oh. Dang it. Whew. Jeez. These guys are getting on a bus here. Okay. One thing I'll also point out is you'll notice that some of them that Jeff has one HP left, and he, he uh, just survived an attack where he was dealt 300 uh, damage. That's because his guts were so high. Sometimes if your guts are really, really, really high, um, you will be able to survive um, a mortal attack. So that's kind of cool. Oh, shit. Ugh. Man. Good, Ness went back to normal. Awesome. Okay, man, this is tough. Okay, let's use a couple of life noodles on Paula. Kind of get her up and running again. And then, how about the HP sucker? Because he needs to get some HP back. And, of course, it didn't work. Don't work, don't work. Okay, good. And Paula's backing up and running again. All right, good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he needs to heal. And Paula, PSI freeze. Come on, finish him off. Finish him off. Not quite. There we go. Got him. Whew. That was a tough one, BCS Universe. I tell you what. 11,000 experience. Yeah. Nice. Definitely needed that. Woohoo. Oh, man. Ah, PSI Thunder B. Sweet. Did Paul gain two levels there? Sweet. All right. And we survived that one somehow. Okay, now I got to figure out how to do this here without... There we go. Kind of walk in a weird location there to get it back. Ah, oh, and everyone's healed. Aw. Aw, that's so sweet. He hurt his mom. And now we have the melody of the Milky Well. Any relation to the Milky Way, I wonder? Probably not. All right, we've successfully made it through this area, but unfortunately I'm almost out of time. So what I'm gonna do off screen is just go ahead and walk my way back through this cave, fighting all the enemies on the way out because I'll get the jump on them since they'll be scared of me now. And then I'll meet you back in Saturn Valley. But what awaits us next? What's the result of having Master Belch defeated? Where's that fourth melody? You're gonna have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.